Hi, I am Ajit Virkud, Professor of Obstetrics and Gynecology from Mumbai, India. Hello citizens of the internet. In this HD video, I am going to give you a skills demonstration of Skyla IUD insertion. Skyla is a newly approved levonorgestrel releasing intrauterine system that is smaller in size than Mirena. It is marketed by Bayer Healthcare Pharmaceuticals Incorporated. For more information, please refer to their site. It contains 13.5 mg of levonorgestrel in its reservoir as compared to 52 mg in the Mirena IUD. Skyla releases 14 micrograms of levonorgestrel daily, an amount that decreases progressively to 5 micrograms per day after 3 years. It is approved for a lifespan of 3 years. The insertion method shown here is also applicable to insertion of the earlier generation copper with silver IUD called as Nova T. In this video, you will see a demonstration of the proper insertion of Skyla or Nova T IUD with its inserter. Let's take a look at the system components inside the sterile packaging. Skyla with its inserter consists of a 28 by 30 mm T body with flexible side arms ready to load and insert. There is a silver ring and a steroid reservoir around the vertical stem. The inserter which is 3.8 mm in diameter is curved with a centimeter scale calibration and has a flange. The handle contains a mark and a slider with threads inside. Skyla threads are held in place by a locking mechanism. This locking mechanism allows single-handed loading of Skyla IUD into the insertion tube. Instruments required are sterile speculum, antiseptic solution, sponge on a ring forceps, tenaculum, uterine sound, shaft, curved scissors, and sterile gloves. Informed written consent must be taken prior to insertion. Patient is put in lithotomy position. A biomanual examination is done to ascertain the size, shape, and position of the uterus. Gently insert a sterile cusco speculum to visualize and steady the cervix. Thoroughly cleanse the cervix and vagina with a suitable antiseptic solution such as betadine. If the uterus is antiverted, grasp the anterior lip of the cervix and gently apply traction to straighten the uterocervical canal and stabilize the cervix. If the uterus is retroverted, the posterior lip of the cervix is grasped by a tenaculum and gentle traction is applied to straighten the uterocervical canal. Traction should be maintained throughout the insertion procedure. Gently insert a uterine sound to check patency of the cervix and measure the uterus cervical length in centimeters. If the cervix is stenosed, cervical dilatation under paracervical block may be required. Open the sterile Skyla package. Using sterile gloves, lift the handle of the IUD. Push the slider forward. This loads the T-body into the insertion tube. The half balls on ends of the side arms are supposed to form a complete ball thus stopping it from going further inside. Adjust the flange to the previously measured UCL in centimeters. Holding the slider in forward position, advance the inserter through the cervix until the flange is approximately 1.5 to 2 centimeters from the external os, and then pause. While holding the inserter steady, Move the slider down to the mark to release the arms of Skyla. Wait for 10 seconds for horizontal arms to open completely. Advance the inserter gently towards the fundus until the flange touches the cervix. Do not continue to advance if you encounter fundal resistance. The IUD is now in fundal position. Remember, fundal position of Skyla is important 
to prevent expulsion. Finally, holding the entire inserter firmly in place, release the IUD by moving the slider all the way down. Continue to hold the slider down while you slowly and gently withdraw the inserter from the uterine cavity. Using sharp curved scissors, cut the threads perpendicular, leaving about 3 cm of threads visible outside the cervix. Do not apply tension or pull on the threads while cutting to prevent displacement of IUD. The IUD should be removed after 3 years. A speculum, gloves and sterile forces are required for removal. Remove Skyla by applying gentle traction on the threads using sponge holding forceps. For further reading on this topic and other topics in obstetrics and gynecology, please refer to the following books written by me. Practical Obstetrics and Gynecology Modern Obstetrics Modern Gynecology Clinical Cases in Obstetrics Questions and Answers Clinical Cases in Gynecology Questions and Answers and Pelvic Reconstructive Surgery Don't forget to subscribe to my new channel called Modern OBGYN.